Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And today we're going to take a look at uh, Winlink settings for the ICOM IC7300. So if you have that radio, you'll see how to set up Winlink. I'll show you my settings and uh, I'll connect just to show that it works. So the first thing you'll do is you press the settings and the Winlink Express setup button here. You enter your call sign, your Winlink password. Um, you enter your grid square down here. Uh, mine's Juliet Oscar 59 Romeo Bravo. And you have some optional contact information here. And if you're like me, you tend to forget your password once in a while, I'd uh, recommend you to enter a password recovery email here uh, so you can recover your password should you forget it. Uh, then you press update or for my, uh, my case here, I'll press cancel since I've already set it up. And we're going to use Vara. So uh, what you need to do before starting this is you need to download Winlink and Vara HF. I'll put links to both down in the description. Then you, so you select Vara HF here. You press open session. And it'll open uh, Vara session here. So the first thing you do here is you press settings and radio setup. And these are the settings for, uh, for the IC7300. You enter uh, ICOM 7300 in the radio model field. The ICOM address is 00. You select USB digital. Uh, you select uh, your appropriate COM port. Uh, if you don't know how to use uh, find your COM port, you use uh, Windows Device Manager. And then you select the same baud rate as on the radio. Uh, and the PTT port is CIV. And that's pretty much it. Once you have those fields filled in, uh, you bring up your VARA window, you press settings and sound card. And I'll just drag this into, into the recording window here. Um, and uh, the sound card device is the uh, USB audio codec, uh, the uh, IC7300 sound card. Might be named USB audio codec 2, 3, and so on on your computer. Uh, but it is the, uh, the USB audio codec option here. When you've done that, you press tune. And if your radio PTT is in, uh, you're good. So we're pretty much good here. Now we're just going to uh, select channel selection. And uh, it'll bring up uh, some... Uh, some channels nearby, some servers nearby, and you can update this through the internet. And what it does now is that it'll update all the Winlink nodes, and now it's done, it's updated. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna select a node that is pretty much nearby, and you can see the path reliability and the path quality here. And um, for right now, it's pretty poor, but if we go up here to the top, we should be good. And uh, we can select the uh, LA1T node, uh, which is relatively close to me. So what you do now is uh, you listen if the frequency is free. And if it's free, you press start. Then it starts connecting here. And uh, you can see here it's got 15 attempts to connect. Let's see if we can make the connection now. And we're good. It's starting to connect now. And you can see all the connection information uh, popping up here. Uh, you can see the station bearing, the range, how many minutes you have left. And then it pretty much logs on and check for new messages. And there might not be any new messages for me right now. The session has ended. It says messages sent zero, total bytes sent zero, and so on, received zero. So we're disconnected, and just like that, you can get WinLink to work. So thank you for watching. Uh, please do consider subscribing and uh, clicking that like button. And until next time, 7 3.